One thing I like about my school is that it's such a tight-knit community and everyone knows everyone and it feels like a family. I've met so many people from multiple different backgrounds that all have really amazing stories that are all very different which I didn't really get in middle school. It is an international school, so there's people from, who come from all over the world. We have our own library inside of the school. We have a basement where the gym is, and we have the swimming pool. It's really fun to walk around, and it's like has a lot of secret doors. It's very calming, like you feel accepted there. Chicago Public Schools is a system with some promising opportunities and some serious challenges. Our city's next mayor will have to wrestle with them all. This year, Chicago will educate more than 361,000 students. That's 77,275 students less than in 2002. In addition, enrollment has dropped 10,000 since just last fall, particularly among students of color. Meanwhile, graduation rates have hit historic highs and more students than ever are going to college. A lot of decisions will have to be made and there are competing interests. So we asked the people affected by the decisions the most, students. What would you say to Chicago's next mayor? I would tell the next mayor that we need more funding for schools that need them desperately, like on the south side and west sides. My school, Hancock, is a bit it's a very old building, it's falling apart. Uh, our school is getting a new building, but I really feel like that funding for the school would really help not only education, but making sure the building would really like help keep it up, keep it maintained. A lot of kids at my school in particular are having issues with transportation to and from school. We struggle with giving fair education. Please, please fund the CPS system more. I mean, I go to one of the best considered schools in the CPS system and we still have paper shortages, teacher shortages. I didn't get a Spanish teacher until the first quarter was over this year. My school, we don't even have a field. We don't even have air conditioning. I would tell the next mayor to listen to the students. We have a lot of opinions and different things that we want to say and voice more than just in our schools, but elsewhere. My message to the next mayor is they need to put students first.